Close your eyes and watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. It's the breath of life. As soon as we were born, we'd, if we didn't take an in-breath, they spanked us to make sure that we did. And it's going to be with us until we die. So it's good to be on good terms with it. As the Buddha pointed out, you can breathe in ways that give rise to rapture, breathe in ways that give rise to pleasure, breathe in ways that steady your mind, gladden the mind, release the mind. There's a lot that can be done with the breath, if you get to know it well. So take some time and be observant. That's the basic principle of friendship, being observant and taking time. And of course, asking questions. How about long breathing? How about short, deep, shallow? Get to know this aspect of your awareness, because we live in our heads so much. We live in our screen so much that if you took a picture of our sense of the body, it would be pretty atrophied. So fill it up. As the Buddha said, practice mindfulness immersed in the body, filling the body. When mindfulness fills the body, his image is of, of a solid wood door. You take a ball of string or ball of yarn and throw it at the door, and it doesn't make a dent at all. Most people's minds and most people's awareness of the body is like a lump of clay. You throw a stone into a lump of clay and the stone makes a big impression. So for the protection of the body, the protection of the mind, you want to fill each other. You want the body to fill the mind, the mind to fill the body. Try to maintain as much of that awareness as you can as you go through the day, not only while you're meditating, but as you walk around, as you talk. Try to be grounded right here. Because when you're grounded, it's a lot easier to deal with situations as they come from you from different directions. It's like taking a stance when you're boxing. If your stance is solid, then no matter which direction they come from, you can bite them off. Because the world does have lots of onslaughts. Even just sitting around doing nothing, you've got things coming into the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and the body. And you want to make sure that they don't make too big of an impact on the mind. So fill the body with your awareness. Fill the body with good breath energy. That way the mind will be grounded. The body will have protection. And you get to know both the body and mind. Some people say that when you die, what are you going to focus on? If you've been focusing on the breath all the time, you're going to lose your meditation object. That's not the case. As you focus on the breath, you get to know fabrications in the mind. Verbal fabrication, mental fabrication. These things become clear. And of course, they're the problem. The breath is not the problem. It's what's going on in the mind. But the breath gives you a good vantage point for watching what's going on in the mind. So make sure you stay grounded right here, with a sense of solidity, with a sense of belonging right here. That way nothing else that comes in can push you out.